Good morning. I'm still in Berlin, Ohio. I'm at Antiques Trading Post. Uh, this one does not ring a bell for me, so I'm not sure if I've been here or not, but I'm about to find out. Well, that's cool. You don't see that every day. Check out the Triumph gas tank. Really pretty handkerchief vase back here. Again, I'm um, not surprised because we're so close to Mosser. That's different. It's got a pontal on it. That I would not expect. Just out of curiosity. Yeah. Oh man, for $4, it would be weird not to get that. That's cool. I'll take that. And then now I am curious about the handkerchief face. $9. That's a pretty nice one. I kind of feel like Milk Glass had its moment. I don't know, it's a really good price, but I think I'm gonna keep going. Especially pretty Fenton Basket, that's only $30. And the apple with the pink stripes, eye rice. Oh, that's funny, I had that one before and I thought it was some type of import, but I didn't think it looked like a contemporary Chinese one and I was right. Um, this is so weird. <laughs> The gold cat paperweight. Look at that face on that guy. Well, here's the coolest thing I've seen so far. Red Rider braces, necklace, and cuff. What is this Lucite crib toy? That's freaking cool. I'm not sure how well that would go over, but I've never seen that before. That's really neat. Gorgeous Murano. $40 on that. Of course, you know I'm a fan of the uh, melon heads and the corn heads, but what I'm most interested in is actually the made salt and pepper shaker set. Is this going to be locked? It is. Dang. That's a thing here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. What? Little pitchers have big ears, sugar and creamer set. Oh my God, okay. And then this freaking planter. That is the most epic, special thing. That is definitely coming with me. And then here, the DeForest is only 18, which is really good. Um, I'm gonna go back to that booth since I wanna look at the made salt and pepper shakers anyway. Um, this booth is 50% off, so that means this face would be $9. That's a great deal. The paint's in good condition. I'm gonna keep going though. Oh my gosh, I love this little horseshoe baby rattle toy. $3, that's just cute. Um, I'm gonna take that. Oh, look at this uh, cat tile. Cat on. Look, it's got the checkerboard and everything. That's so funny. Well, this is different. Super fun picking through this stuff. It looks like a lot of earrings. Oh, the Santa. Two dollars. Well, you can't go wrong with that. I wonder. He's missing his holly berry. Let's see if I he might need batteries or something. Well, oh, here's something really cool. Check out this check egg decanter that is so cool the painting is in pretty good condition for its age and what's even more amazing about it is you open up and it's got all the shot glasses and the bottle 45 on that is a great deal speaking of decanters i love the dog decanters and then down here <laughs> i can't help but notice this uh golfing frog <laughs> that is a particularly pretty vase there that's at 48 if it was uranium i'd do it at that price but it is not so it's a little close for me oh man and the satin quilted optic optic tumblers those are so pretty ten dollars oh man i never see it in yellow 12 on that those are real nice I think I'm going to grab both. It's amazing they don't have any dings in these. A lot of the times they do. Oh my gosh. Look at the owl. 
Unfortunately, I don't actually think it's Bakelite. I think it's something else carved. Um, so for 69, I definitely can't get that. And the vintage Elvis bracelet is amazing. That's at 79. It's got the song names on it and it looks like it's one of those expandable ones. That is so cool. And then over here, I'm really into the powder box. But most important, look at this Italian Pinocchio ornament. He's fabulous. He's at 95. Now, when I went to get the made salt and pepper shakers, I decided the creamer and sugar was great, but it was a little close. I saw this. This is so fantastic. The condition is amazing. It's $24 and uh, it's right on brand. Look at that. It looks like a neat cons, but it's Gary. It looks like it might be the same designer, but a little later maybe? I'm not sure. Anyway, that is uh, coming with us. And look at the color on the handle. Well, I found some really unique stuff. I did leave some really unique stuff and some good deals behind. But like I said, uh, with Black Friday coming up, I don't think you guys even understand how much stuff I have to do and how much inventory I have waiting to go out on the 29th. Uh, to my surprise, I'd never been there before. I'm gonna hop in the car, head down the street, and my next stop is a plaid shirt guy pick. So I'll see you guys there. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy right now. I love their display outside. Check this out. Um, to my surprise, I have never been here. Uh, this was recommended to me by plaid shirt guy. Shout out and hello. And I cannot wait to go in here. I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty in love with the Santa Blue Mall. You can already tell I love it here. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna have to pick out a Santa from Snoopers, a Snooper Santa. It only is, only makes sense. <laughs> oh man. Here's something different. The chalkware. It's got the fish in it. Oh man, but they're repaired. That's why I was gonna say that's a great deal. Ten dollars for the whole box. This is really fun. It's one of those places where you really never know what you're gonna find. It's a total eclectic mix so far. Um, I actually don't mind when they have like a little new stuff because it, it just it kind of adds to the thrill of finding something really special and old. Well, I see something that appears to be Italian hiding back here. The uh, Ewer. That's neat. That's a really good artist. Not my favorite design, but uh, nice piece. And then over here, the Big Eyed Dog. He's fantastic. He's at $18.95. A lot going on in here. Hmm. Yeah, I was not kidding when I said eclectic. <laughs> I see my first thing that I'm obsessed with. Check out the jointed Flatsy doll. She's in great condition. $8.99. That's an insane deal. She is coming with me. Oh, man. I've only ever had one of these in this good condition once. And uh, it's only the third time ever I've had it. Um, oh, she's so fantastic. What a, what a find. Hmm. Kind of flea markety, but there's a couple things that stand out. Orange vase 380. Very cool. That's uh, got some age to it. And so is this one. Oh, that one's repaired, though. That's a shame. I was really excited about that shape. Um, well, I will be taking this one. That's so cool. Dude, look at the Tanala ladybug. That's something I've never seen before. $15. Oh my gosh, how fun. That's definitely coming with me. This is exciting. Every time I peek my head around the corner, there's like a completely different vibe going. Let's see what's back here. It looks promising. Hmm. The Inarco Daisies. The prices seem to be super good here, as is. Yeah, it's got a little spot of damage. They usually do. It's forgivable, but I think it's actually missing its lid and it's a sugar bowl. Well, what do we have here? Yet another nook. <laughs> this place just kind of keeps on going. Oh my gosh, the crab bowl. And this is so funny. My boyfriend would love that. He's a. Uh, He's into, like, weird crab things, kind of. <laughs> but he's not a knickknack guy. Otherwise, I would uh, get that for him. Uh, some contemporary 
uh, resin. That's really neat, the octopus. But I'm more into these. These are fun. $4 each. Those would be great for uh, little, um, what do they call them? Not dioramas. Assemblages. Oh, man. The uh, little plush reindeer. That's only $10. And then here, these are fantastic. The Christmas bald clowns. What about this Santa? He's super bright. <laughs> um, Christmas trees. Kind of feel like he's pretty great. I have a couple of them right now getting ready to go on Black Friday again. So I'm kind of like not sick of seeing them, but you know what I mean. I'm ready to move mine out first. But I tell you what, after Black Friday is over, I am ready to uh, go on the road trip to shop my little heart out all over again. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I had a view, uh, like a viewer actually send me a picture of this case. I didn't know this is where the case was. She did say the town. Oh my God. That is gorgeous. These Fenton pumpkins are amazing. I'm putting my basket down. I'm gonna snoop around here. Wow. That's definitely a uh, collector's prices. Holy cow, look at the hand-painted high It's giving me like Lisa Frank vibes. It's a crazy alley cat. That's, I think, why she sent the picture. Um, wow, this is really fantastic. I love the Burmese. Again, it's all too high for me to do anything with. But gosh, golly, these are great pieces. Yeah, like, look at this pumpkin. That is so gorgeous. Oh my gosh, how sweet is this little photo album? The little compact mini frame, $12. Enamel painted. That's coming with me. That's just so sweet. What's this back here? That's cool. Orange and red bowl. It's like a hobbyist piece, but man, that's got great color to it. Well, fun shop and fun to see where some of my viewers go. Uh, I'm going to get on the road and look at a map. I'm not sure where I'm going next. Uh, I've kind of made it through relatively quick and ready to keep going. So I'll see you guys in my next stop.